What is the easiest demon in Geometry Dash? When it comes to easy demons, one that immediately comes to mind is Shiver by SP Kale, an extremely popular level for its easy difficulty. The first half of the level heavily relies on raw skill though, as you have to carefully maneuver your shipper in this section. Later into the level though, Shiver becomes a memory demon, with an abundance of fakes, making it very challenging to read. As easy as the level is, I doubt it's the easiest out there, as the level still requires a diverse set of skill sets. If the level wasn't so memory reliant, it could have been Sky High Bow Oasis. The first half of the level is very challenging, with some gameplay that would definitely be challenging for newer players to understand. Fortunately though, halfway through the level, it loses nearly all of its difficulty and becomes a 5 star, allowing it to easily take the throne. Crying Clouds by Blee nearly bested Sky High by Oasis, but unfortunately fell just short. The level is very skill based, and despite being easy to read and not having any memory, it wasn't enough to beat Sky High. You could also say the same about Insidious, which is one of the weirdest levels I've come across. Despite being a boss level, the actual boss lasts 2 seconds before it abruptly stops attacking you. Guess I'm too much of a cutie for this boss to handle. While the beginning of the level is very challenging, nearly everything after that is 5 stars, with the ending being auto. Does this look like a demon to you? Even with all of that, the readability of the level is something that definitely drags it down, and similarly to Crying Clouds, it wouldn't pass Sky High. Another level that is extremely unbalanced is What Is It by Boogle. The whole gimmick of the level is every few seconds, the entire level changes from the gameplay all the way to the decoration. Some parts are so easy that you could probably mistake them for 3 stars if you didn't have the context, while others are demon. It's rare that I won't attempt a demon upon return, allowing for What Is It to edge out Sky High with ease. Unwind is a rare case of a free demon starting out easy and then getting harder, as most do the complete opposite. The beginning of the level, dare I say, is about a 5 star, which allows you to consistently reach the drop, which is where the difficulty takes full effect. The drop is extremely fast, causing it to be very hard to read. There's a new portal every single millisecond, so if you don't want to break your fingers trying to click, this level probably isn't for you. Disordered World is very similar to Unwind, with a drop that is extremely difficult. I don't know what's with Easy Demons wanting to fire hand from clicking, but that's besides the point. Fortunately, this part is very short unlike on Wind, with most parts of the level being 5 stars. I was beginning to get stumped after searching hundreds of Easy Demons and decided to venture into YouTube, where I asked you guys what Easy Demons you thought were the easiest. While I did have quite a few generic responses, I also ended up getting a few gold mines, like Is by Grenade. Similar to Crying Clouds, the level heavily relies on skill, with nothing getting in the way except how good you are at the game. While some parts are fairly challenging, it was able to beat What Is It, claiming the title of the easiest demon thus far. But it didn't end there. Catch the Rainbow begins as a 6 star, and you might not even notice it's a demon until you enter the drop, which is brutal. The level features an extremely fast wave and UFO, where it feels like you're walking on thin ice. The balancing of the level is beyond awful, and it being a weekly demon is very fitting. If it weren't for the drop, the level would easily dethrone is, but I had to keep looking. Silver Eyes was another level that was evil with his gameplay, with it being one of the hardest levels to read in my investigation so far. For example, this orb tells you it's fake after you hit it, which is very helpful when a cube's ashes are on the ground. What kind of design is this? While it wasn't that hard, it was far from being is. From experience, newer levels seem to rely more on skill, while older levels relied more on memory, due to the lack of objects they had compared to now. Possibly, the levels could be even easier than newer levels if I looked hard enough, which I'd end up doing. I'm convinced that Seeker of Demon was created by artificial intelligence, as this level looks like a complete mess compared to everything else. The level would be 4 stars if you removed every single bit of memory, as the level is completely carried by it. However, with one practice run, that completely changes, with the level easily beating is. Another level that looks like it was created by artificial intelligence is Demon Jumper, which is Jumper, but a demon. Spooky, I know. The beginning of the level is brutal and I can see why Rob rated this a demon, as this completely meets the standards. Until you pass the first part, and the level becomes a 7 star, with some minor memory sections here and there. Some sections are easier than Jumper itself, even though the level claims to be a demon version of it. What makes this even more silly is the fact that the last 20% of the level is completely untouched, almost as if the creator forgot to put gameplay here. Around a year ago, I created a video on the easiest levels of every difficulty, where I briefly touched on the easiest demon, with one of the possible candidates being Platinum Adventure, which didn't age too well in all honesty. 
Platinum Adventure suffers from some peculiar choke points, likely due to its early release in Update 2.0. The level is filled with random difficulty specs and poorly executed memory segments, especially in the robot part, which makes the level fall apart. On the topic of falling apart, this is Fall Apart by Bleed, which is the longest level I'd found up until now, standing at nearly 3 minutes. The level is amazing in every way possible, but there's a section later on which can be brutal. In this part, you play in platform mode, and you have to dodge objects falling from the sky. Now I'm no expert, but how on earth do you get in this situation? Seriously. While this section can catch you off guard, the rest of the level is easy enough where you can dethrone Seeker of Demon. Even that wouldn't last long however, as similarly to Shiver, Pork is another popular level for its easy difficulty. The level is very sight readable throughout, with most of its gameplay being 6 stars, besides the dreadful beginning. While the level does have some unusual gameplay during some sections, it was enough to somehow dethrone Fall Apart as well. While scrolling through some comments, I noticed the level pop up frequently, being GG by Molpin. The level is very diverse in skill sets, going from memory and into tight wave sections the next, causing it to be very learning. However, after a practice run, I was able to beat the level in one attempt, which is quite rare, allowing for the level to place above pork. Another level I saw pop up frequently was High Rebound, which feels like a 7 star you'd see in the feature tab. Not an easy demon. The only hard part of the level is that the custom objects are slightly harder to read, but that's a small nitpick at best. We're approaching dangerous levels of easiness, and by now, a person who hasn't been pole guys could probably beat the next few. The Nightmare is iconic for its difficulty, standing as the third most downloaded level ever. With so many people flocking to the level, how hard is it? Well, most of the level is 7 stars, with the occasional choke point. The entire level is very awkward to play, and you can notice the lack of playtesting, especially with the mirror portals, which give you next to no time to react. If the level is rated 7 stars, then no one would play it, but due to its nature, it has garnered millions of downloads. The same could be said for the Lightning Road, another iconic level. The map isn't difficult in the slightest, with most of it being in the same realm as Cycle's difficulty. The hardest part of the level is a bug at 55%, where you have to awkwardly avoid this pad to avoid being smashed into death, along with some memory that isn't too hard. The only explanation I could really give for why these two levels are demons is likely due to demons not being as established as they are today, with the reins being a lot more loose back then, but I can't pretend to know. Shine makes me question what even is the standard for a demon, as this feels like a poorly playtested 6 star. If you turn on hitboxes, you begin to realize how easy this level truly is. Aside from a couple difficulty spikes like the wave, the level is absolutely free, allowing it to place above the lightning row. This level made me curious to how it could even be dethroned, and somehow I got surprised yet again. This is Alos Odyssey, likely the most obscure level yet. The level is so easy that I bet you can use this as a warm up before playing Can't Let Go. The level is virtually a 6 star, with the occasional awkward timing. While the gameplay is unusual, it is far from hard, and I'm confused why it was even rated demon in the first place. Despite dethroning Shine, it itself would quickly be dethroned by Sadra. Upon discovering this level, my mind was blown. If you thought a level with timing scattered across it was too much for a demon, then Sadrop is your solution, where the level outright tells you where the timings are. This is so comically easy that I can't comprehend it. While there are still some challenging parts in the level, it is far from a demon, easily dethroning Alice Odyssey. Now there are some interesting scenarios, like Permafrost Mountain, a level that has some of the hardest coins ever verified, multiple endings, and even a secret way. That combination is unreal. For one of the endings, if you jump over the robot part at 13% and do a near frame perfect jump after that, you unlock an ending where you just sit in a pile of wood for the rest of the level. The fact that this is also deemed a bad ending is even crazier. While there are more demons with secret ways, I'm not going to cover them because there are hundreds, with this being the most interesting one. Lesser by EOPC would have been the easiest demon, but something would occur. You see, the level would initially be rated easy demon, despite being a 5 to 7 star. This wasn't one of those levels with massive choke points either. It was possible for players to one attempt it with ease. This caused the level to blow up, and seeing all the attention, Rob decided to kill it by re-rating the level to an easy 9 star, something that should never happen. Alice Odyssey or Sud Drop would have been the end result, but a comment I would receive on the post a couple hours later would change everything. This is Distal Quarter, which doesn't have any memory, barely requires any skill, and is extremely easy to read. I had never played the level beforehand, so me for attempting this with my skill issue showed me how easy this level was. While there is an occasional timing here and there, it is so minuscule that you can't even consider this a demon, scoring a 10 out of 100. 
Some of these levels were extremely easy, but these are the easiest levels of very difficulty. Go check it out, and as always, thanks for watching. Peace.